What up, my friends? Saquon Barkley under three and a half receptions. Gerald Everett under three and a half receptions. Price picks value off the charts this morning. This video is going to highlight the why, the how, and then you can do it on your own when you're ready. Let's go. All right, got the price picks board up. I'm going to be using the MySpari.com odds finder. And I'm going to show you the first one that pops off the page right here. Look at the odds on Gerald Everett. I'm currently looking at the receptions market. You guys can use this as one of my members. It's less than $1 per day to be a member now. Matter of fact, you can sign up for $19.99 first month with promo code STREAM, S-T-R-E-A-M. Get access to 12 cappers, an odds finder tool, parlay builder tool, Discord, fully organized now. Full access, less than 20 bucks first month. Gerald Everett, under three and a half receptions. Look at this. Every single book, juiced, juiced. Best odds you can get right there in Caesars. Minus 127 for under three and a half. A minus 141 average. That's nutty. You don't find these very often on this parlay platforms. These usually get bumped. So look for this to be 3-0. Hopefully you watch this video and you get it now. So I'm grabbing Gerald Everett and I'm going under. Now the goal of today is to identify good picks with solid value. And then I want you to make the decision if you want to play them or not, research them, figure out what you want to do with your own money. But I'm trying to identify Plays that are value plays based on odds alone, nothing else. It's just math-based value. What are the implied odds of a minus 141 line? And is that worth taking on a site with fixed pricing? I'll blow up the screen a little bit so you all can see the plays a little bit better as we continue to make them, sliding back over to the odds finder. All right, next two interesting targets. We have Saquon Barkley under three and a half receptions is a minus 138. On average, taking these five sports books. And then on the flip side, same game, Sunday Night Football, which could make a fun little sweat, Tony Pollard. And you would do the opposite. Over two and a half receptions. Uh, if you like it on sports books, DK is the play at minus 125 to the over. I really like the Saquon line. I'm kind of not entirely sold on taking the Pollard line. You got Pinnacle and DK still at minus 128, minus 125, but I do like the Barkley line. Every single book over minus 133. So I'm going to grab Barkley under three and a half receptions and add that as my next pick. Another way you use the odds finder here is if you're focusing on sportsbooks plays and you're researching, and you're like, man, I really like Austin Eckler over four and a half receptions this week. Open up the odds finder. You search Eckler's name in the search bar at the top. And you're like, oh, snap, look at this. You got minus 130 in every single book except FanDuel, 20 cents cheaper than everything else. So there you go. You'd have a spot. You know you want to take Eckler over reception. So bang, you take over four and a half minus 112. And you know the best bang for your buck would be on FanDuel. I'm not saying this is a play. I'm telling you this is a really smooth way to use the odds finder where if you've researched something, you know you're on it. Get the most money you can out of the money you're going to plop in a sports book. Here's another one. Brett Fryermuth. You can take him. You know, I like him. Over three and a half receptions. Okay, great. Where are the best odds? FanDuel. Minus 118. 20 cents lower than every other sports book. Matter of fact, that's a pretty solid play if we're playing just the math game. You could take that on price picks and on parlay play. Over three and a half would be fine. And also, there's the best value. FanDuel gifting you again the Eckler play, the Fryermuth play, minus 118 right here. So use the odds finder to find the best bang for your buck. I really like that phrase. I think it makes the most sense when you're trying to put down bets. It's also really helpful when you are using this to identify where the value is. Right now, George Pickens. Okay, sportsbooks heavily juicing the under three and a half receptions. And that means price picks bumped him to 3-0. But guess what? You could still get him on parlay play under three and a half receptions. That's phenomenal. You guys can make so much money by identifying where the best value is. Don't blindly follow any one of these sites. Go where the best bang for your buck is going to be. So you can grab him under three and a half. And by the way, if you love yourself some 
three plus receptions for Pickens, you could take the over 3-0 on price picks and sort of middle the line. If you need a promo for any of these sites, just click, just click on the logo up here and it'll actually open you up to the promos and you guys can get $100, $100 deposit match, things like that. What up, my friends? Do you want access to a dozen plus cappers, an odds finder tool and a parlay builder tool for less than 20 bucks? Well, you can have it using promo code STREAM, S-T-R-E-A-M. I'll see you on the inside, my friends. Let's get paid. All right, here's a really good pick. Debo Samuel, under four and a half receptions, prize picks, parlay play. Look at every single book. Minus 138 average. You got minus 136, minus 139, minus 145, minus 141, minus 140, minus 150, so on and so forth. Debo Samuel, under four and a half receptions. Slide over to prize picks. We're going to type in D-E-E-B. We're getting Debo Samuel, and bang, it just got bumped down. And I brought this up because I wanted to show you exactly why we use this. Now, this... Uh, odds finder tool. I did not refresh before I started recording 30 minutes ago. So the goal was to show you, you can identify the plays that will bump on the odds finder, or excuse me, on the parlay sites by simply using this and secure value. Had you hopped on here, you could have grabbed the under four and a half before price picks changed the receptions to 4.0. That is an amazing way to get ahead of what these platforms are going to do and go where the money is going. On the under four and a half, you can get the under four and a half before it swaps and changes, so on and so forth. Let's keep going. Let me find you a couple live slips. And you can see I just refreshed the tool, literally just went up here, clicked the refresh button, and you can see there it is, Debo Samuel. He's at 4.0 now on price picks. So we missed it, but you get it. And that was an, it was a fine example. It was a great example. And it was done live for you so that you could see how to identify these plays, where to get them. Now, again, sports books, you're trying to find the best value. You like DeAndre Hopkins receptions this week? Well, you grab them on FanDuel, minus 130. Every other book, 15 cents uh, more expensive everywhere else. So you get your money's worth. You got Chris Olave over four and a half receptions. Every single sports book. Look at this. Minus 129 best odds on Caesar. Everything else juiced. Let's take Olave over four and a half receptions. Now, why am I? By the way, what you see me doing on this show right now, I am doing for a single category. Look at all of these categories that you can research. You can put together tremendous value slips using the odds finder. I am looking at one category right now and putting this together for you as I am just simply scrolling through and trying to identify value. And this is also how you can put together some really good betting uh, individual prop plays, just finding the best value. Well, this is where all the books are going. Okay, great. Grab the best value before it moves. A line like this, minus 122 under four and a half for Amari Cooper is a interesting line considering the rest of them are 13 cents higher on every single book, you get yourself a little bit more bang for your buck. Also, this probably is identifying a line right here that potentially is going to move to 4.0, and that's Amari Cooper under 4.5 on the books, juiced to high heaven, ends up moving to 4.0 at some point, most likely quickest and uh, on price picks and underdogs. So there you go. We're identifying lines that could be moving. Remember that when you watch this video that I shot this early Friday morning, depending on where the line is when you watch the video, uh, you know, that could be interesting. Another example of just like what we saw with Debo Samuel. Now, here's a nice looking line. I do like this. Every single book, minus 130 or worse. And we end up having a beautiful fixed price here on these sites, price picks, underdog, sleeper. Trevor Lawrence over one and a half touchdowns. Again, you can do what you want with this information, or you can, you know, just blindly take it. I don't care. It's your money. Do what you want. Just trying to find you guys some value. Jalen Hurts just missed out on making this list for me. Minus 125 holdout here on Caesars. Really just kind of want to clear that 130 hurdle. But the under one and a half does make sense if you're just going by the overall implied probability based on these sites, so you could roll with that one. But I think we could probably find better. Let's slide them in there and go from there. Wanted to highlight this one for rushing attempts. Now, these are currently only on underdog. Price Picks has not put any back up, as they had a couple earlier this week. Raheem Mostert here. Uh, listen, I mean, over 12 and a half rushing attempts on underdog fantasy is a really interesting play. 
Here are the odds on all the sports books. And then woohoo, FanDuel actually a full value higher at 13 and a half. You could grab the over 12 and a half on underdog and sub type of parlay. And then you can even grab the under 13 and a half as a single player prop. No parlay, just on FanDuel. Under 13 and a half rushing attempts, minus 122. Uh, fair odds here, and then you get the over 12 and a half for a parlay on a site like Underdog. So you can put together some really solid middling opportunities here. Be smart with your money. Don't go overboard in week one. Just trying to show you all how to make money using the odds finder. These are the types of things that we give you as cappers inside Discord. There's 12 of us giving you picks. You know, now you're kind of seeing how we come to uh, you know, our own personal conclusions. This is not the answer key, but it's definitely a part of the equation. Last year had a lot of success looking at the field goals made category. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was making bank off field goal props. Listen, anytime you get small numbers, just like, you know, strikeout props in baseball, walk props in baseball, smaller numbers, whenever you have an edge, the edge is theoretically a little bit larger than if you're taking a two yard differential on an 83 yard rushing uh, player prop, right? 81 yards on one book to 83 on another is not as good as, you know, giving yourself a, an opportunity to have a fixed pricing on something that is like super juiced to the over or under on a one and a half. So uh, the edge is just greater on smaller numbers. With that being said, they are kickers. They are volatile. There's not a lot of consistency in a lot of these different kickers. You know, these are new offenses. There's, you know, new constructs for the coaching staff. So maybe potentially different game plans. Their team might not be as efficient as usual. I mean, look at the Chiefs last night based on injury and just, you know, ineptitude at the wide receiver position. And you got a bunch of kickers who just, uh, you know, you get a guy like Harrison Bucker who, you know, usually has pretty solid scoring potential, but did not because the team just couldn't move the ball efficiently. Well, you have an opportunity here, Greg Zerline, and, you know, the lines are juiced. Now, the other thing, the other factor to this is I want as many books as possible. Do I have three juice lines? I sure do. However, I would rather take a prop where I have a line to use for all six books. So when you're using those field goals made props, you know, you don't have a ton of comparisons as not all books always have lines out for every single market. All right, this final play is an interception prop. Again, small numbers. I always feel like you have a little bit more of an edge. Daniel Jones under half an interception, not on prize picks. But if you wanted to pair him with my previous underdog play, now you got one. You could take the under 0.5 interceptions look every single book you got juice the under you go back and you look at the data only threw an interception in five different games last year all right so this last one was pretty simple went to the player receiving yards wanted to look for a lower number again i saw tyree killed down at the bottom was i think 84 yards on one side he was 80 at another you know 81 here on sports books so 85 on parlay play 81 and a half on underdog Right. There's a lot of discrepancy there. So you have an opportunity to take some under and over based on the site you're on to try to middle the line. However, I wanted the smaller. I wanted the smaller numbers. I was already talking about that. Week one, we don't have a lot of things to hang our hat on. I like this though. So I want I want smaller numbers. Alec Pierce, check this out. So on price picks, he's 34, probably play 34. And then sports books, he's 30 and a half or 31 and a half. This is just too much. That's over a 10% differential in the actual, uh, you know, receiving yard market here for this prop line. So Pierce under 34 and a half is my final play for the flex six. Now, again, I didn't say I was trying to put together a gorgeous flex six for you. Just wanted to highlight all the different value. Please, you know, be smart about what you do here. This is entirely going to be up to you if you want to use these picks. I think the best way to use the odds finder is use it as two pieces to a, you know, a nice large two-piece puzzle. That's the dumbest analogy I've ever brought up. But, you you know, you look at the odds. That's your first piece. You're gathering data is your second piece. And then you make your decision. I also want you to pay attention. Sunday morning, I will tweet out a link. I'll also post it inside Discord. Uh, over a thousand members in there, less than 20 bucks for a month. Just gorgeous way to start your NFL season, NBA, October 10th, I believe. Uh, Sunday morning, I'm going to tweet this out. I'll post it. I have a sports betting live show. We're going to cover all things betting and prize picks, underdog. And I'm going to be doing it with my homie Ray GQ on his YouTube channel. And we're going to be doing it 
uh, every Sunday morning and then most Wednesday mornings as well. So stay tuned. Set your alarms for 9 a.m. when we'll go live. What's up, my friends? Thank you very much for supporting the YouTube channel. It's you and me versus the books here. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the inside. Let's go. Let's get paid.